Hola amigos, I'm here at Amas, a restaurant that focuses on Amazonian cuisine with a modern take. I'm going to be meeting Chef Francesca Ferreiros. She's worked with some of the best in the world, like El Seir de San Roca in Spain and Gagan in Bangkok, which was voted the number one restaurant in Asia for years. Francesca is currently working with indigenous people from the Amazon jungle to extend her knowledge of products and ancient techniques. Uh, so it's made up with pisco mollar. It's a very aromatic grape, uh, an ounce and a half. Some mint on the base. Delicious it's muña, it's an Andean mint. Some rough lemon, it's this fruit here. And some tonka bean syrup. This uh, is very aromatic. Very and aromatic. it's not that sour as a yeah. Peruvian lemon. Now shake it. Okay, so I'm about to try this drink made using what's known as the alacran. It's actually a root that's used in the Amazon for witchcraft to create spells. People that are very superstitious. So a lot of women use this to kind of get their husbands or men to fall in love with them. So let's try it. Wow, it's so refreshing. It's a bit sweet, it's nice and sour. This is delicious. I put a spell on you. <laughs> Hola Francesca, thank you so much for having me today. Thank you for coming. Why do you think Peruvian cuisine is the best in the world? I think because we have a lot of diversity, uh, not only of produce but of cultures. We have a lot of Chinese influence, a lot of uh, Japanese influence. It's a mix of so many cultures that makes it very rich in the food. Um, you know we have this Afro-Peruvian culture and that is an amazing food. Then you have the Amazonian food, the countryside, the, the coast. It's the weather varies so much that we get amazing uh, ingredients to work with. So that's the main reason why the food is so good here. Totally agree, we've got, you know, the coastline, the Andes Mountains, the unknown Amazonian jungle yes. that's still being discovered by us Peruvians. Exactly, so basically uh, that was one of the things that I liked of coming back. Um, I love Asian food, I've always loved it. My grandparents lived in Asia for a while, so I grew up eating a lot of Chinese yeah. and Japanese food. So well, that was one of the main reasons why I wanted to work in Asia. And when I was in Thailand, I saw a lot of similarity in uh, the culture with mm -hmm. the Amazonian culture. Wow! So I started working a lot uh, in the Amazon and I started discovering a lot of ingredients that are very similar to Asian ingredients yeah. that people in Lima don't use or don't know. Uh -huh. And like that we have a lot of fruits and herbs and, and different techniques from the culture there. It's, it's so much to discover. I noticed in Thailand, for example, they use a lot of cilantro, they use yeah. a lot of peppers, a lot of the lime, the lime is very similar to the one that we have here a lot of red onion so yes. actually it has a lot of like influence and that was another thing that I didn't understand why in, in Lima we don't have a lot of Thai influence restaurants or th something like that because actually the, the flavors are a little similar. What is the most interesting, unique, different ingredient you've ever worked with? Uh, well definitely uh, working more in the Amazon you start to discover new things. One that I've fallen in love with is the tukupi sauce. Not only because of the ingredient, because my love started with the flavor, of, yeah. obviously, and the versatility of the product, but once I started to dig in deeper and work with a community that actually produces the tukupi, uh -huh. uh, the project itself, the people are so beautiful. It's such a beautiful project that it made the ingredient even more special to yeah. me. 
I find it very interesting because tukupi, which is actually this sauce, we've got it right here. It's actually made from the yuca brava, which yes. is a poisonous cassava, you might say, a yeah. root, a poisonous yes. root. And it needs to be fermented before being consumed because of its high cyanide content. Exactly. Um, so basically, they walk to these uh, areas where they grow the yuca. Mm -hmm. uh, it's all women that work this project. So it's uh, very interesting because it's a very hard work, very hard labor. Um, but they walk like for an hour and a half, pick up the yuca and carry it in their heads, like 25 kilos each. Oh my God. To bring it back home. And then they um, mix it with a little bit of water and start to press down all the liquid. And what they do is actually get the starch out mm -hmm. of the, the yuca. Mm -hmm. uh, they consume so much yuca because they get from the yuca, they have the tapioca. They also use it for their beverages and they also use it to make cassave, which is a type of bread made from the starch, wow. which they eat in every meal. Uh -huh. And then they have the, the juice, which is the tucupi. Yeah. The tucupi, they use it sometimes to make different stews, just as it is, but this one, the tucupi negro or black tucupi, mm -hmm. is actually reduced. Yeah. And all of these produce have to be fermented before preparing them because of the cyanide. So. Um, if you eat it raw, you can die. Yes, basically. You will die. Yes. Do not eat it raw. <laughs> no. I've actually never tried the tukupi, so this is going to be the first time I try it. I can't wait to see what it tastes like. We're actually going to go in the kitchen, right? And yes. see how they um, plate up or make a few dishes that use this very interesting sauce. Exactly. Let's go. Let's go. So now the guys are making actually, uh, this is inspired in the coast, but only using Amazonian products because they're making a tiradito, which you should know perfectly what it is. But what they do here is actually use paiche, which is a river fish. It's the main fish that we consume in the Amazon. And uh, the leche de tigre that they have made is with actually the cashew fruit. Uh, and they make a, a leche de tigre with it and they're gonna pour Why? it on the top. And what was that? That was oil? Hot oil? Hot oil, just to, to give it a little sizzle and cure it a little bit more. So this tiger's milk is not the tiger's milk that we usually have with the lime and the fish. It's actually made with cashews. Exactly. Uh, but the cashew fruit. The cashew not, fruit. Not the nut, but the fruit. Yeah. And it has a little dots of uh, lime zest to give it a little freshness. Is it pepino? Uh, Cutie. And oh, cucumber. And cucumber and carambola, which is like a star fruit. And you know, like it's it's perfect for summer days and it's a perfect introduction for people in the coast to try different produce from the Amazon, you know, yeah, because it's, it's a similar. Your way in, your way in. Exactly. Oh, that looks fresh. Okay, I'm so excited to try these dishes. Like, look at that. It just looks so inviting. So the paiche is very, it has a lot of fiber. So this one is actually cured. The paiche is almost 100 kilos. Yeah, explain what is paiche. No one knows what paiche is. So paiche is this river fish. It's the most, uh, uh, the biggest fish. Like I said, it can weigh over to 100 kilos. So it's... It's huge. It's uh, huge. Yeah. So they try to portion all the parts of the mm -hmm. paiche and sell it to different restaurants yeah. because it's so big that each part has a specific texture and yeah. flavor it's yeah. amazing you have the ribs yeah. you have the head you have the cheeks mm -hmm. you have the, the the sirloin you have so many parts that you will try and, and, and what see. part are we trying this is the sirloin and the they sirloin. cure it beautiful yes. so it's been cured um with some then they drizzle salt. with salt for about three hours then they clean it, uh, slice it, and then they drizzle a little bit of hot oil yeah. and then the, the cashew fruit leche. Okay, thing. let's try it. With a spoon to get the sauce. Exactly. Mm. 
So you see the texture mm. is very, very interesting mm -hmm. and delicious and you know. It's a very firm texture. It's not like your normal tiradito that you get here with a lenguado of it, which, which just is really soft. Yeah. This has a bite, it has texture. And it's really nice and acidic. It's a bit spicy. Mm -hmm. The flavor is amazing. You know, it's a bit sweet. The it's a fruit also, the, 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 fruit. the fruit. And then you have the, the salad here that it refreshes everything also mm -hmm. with, with the cucumber and the star fruit. And of course that cilantro, which can never be missed in a tiradito. Mm. Wow. It's kind of like a, you know, like a carpaccio kind of texture. Exactly. It's very meaty. Mm -hmm. It's a very meaty it's fish. It's almost like eating a ham. Yeah, yeah, beautiful, wow. Okay, what are these interesting This is actually things? one of my favorite dishes here in Amas. Yeah. This is uh, the churro. Churro is a, a, sea, a, a river snail yes. from the Amazon. So what they do here is they have a, a sauce made out of uh, Amazonian chorizo, wow. and then they add a tapioca. Uh -huh. from the community yeah. and then they cook it with the with the snails so that thickens the sauce a bit exactly so you can actually put the spoon inside and try is it out is this the actual yes. snail um, shell exactly. so it's huge yes it's, it's a, big, a snail. big snail look at the size of that shell okay and you can see all the tapioca and the pieces of yes. the snail okay mm. Mm. The meat is so tender, it's amazing. Mm. And the spices from the chorizo, but this is Amazonian chorizo, so it's not like the Spanish chorizo. What's it the has, difference? It has different herbs and spices and the meat. Mm. It's beautiful. And it's then you smoky. have the... It's, kind of yes. it's a bit spicy. Mm. Like you see all the pieces here, right? You see like... The meat, the tapioca, all the juices, the chili, the, the cilantro. And the tapioca, it kind of bursts in your mouth. And absorbs all that sauce, you know, so Delicious. it's amazing. Wow, and, then, and the presentation, like yeah. that's so inviting. And it's like a nice bowl to yeah, eat out of, yeah. right? And this looks very familiar. It looks like an empanada, right? This is an empanada, but it's actually uh, stuffed with uh, meat from the Amazon. So. This is another project from the Pensa Amazonica, which is the carne de monte. So they have like deer, they have um, sajino, which is like almost like a rodent, a big yes. rodent, a, a wild pig or yeah. a wild boar. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's a very strong flavored meat, but it's mm -hmm. so delicious. And it's the main diet that they have in, in the communities. So we've got all those different meats inside, inside the empanada. And then you have obviously the chilies um, we love our chilies we love our chilies and this one has different um, spices and herbs from the amazon yeah. they they actually use for example the amazonian chestnut uh-huh which is like the brazilian chestnut yes, maybe yes and this is the naranja agria naranja agria would be like sour bitter, orange. bitter orange, bitter orange or sour but so the flavor is amazing this is from the amazon as well look at that Wow, look at that meat. It looks like it's so rich. Let's add a little bit. And what is this dough? Because this dough isn't made using flour and butter. What do we use in the dough? Yuca. Yuca. It's made with cassava, so it's a cassava dough. Yes. Even the texture, it's wow. So nice. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. I love chili, so I will. Yeah, let's try it. Which one are you, should I try? This is a green one. Mm -hmm. Wow. And the, the flavor of the, the naranja agria is so nice. I just wanna, wow, this is delicious. Mm. Mm -hmm. And look at all that juice yeah. in there. And that, that chili sauce in it. Mm. Wow. Look at that yeah. juice. Look at that. Look at that. It's just See? bursting. The filling is actually, they use the tucupi negro. Oh, they, the tucupi negro is in the filling. Yeah, that's why you have that rich umami flavor as well. Mm. <laughs> the food in the Amazon is amazing. Like the produce that they have, you can't go wrong with it.
Okay, so the moment of truth. I'm gonna be trying the black tukupi for the first time. How should I try it? So you have different preparations here. So this is actually cassave. Mm -hmm. Cassave is made out of the flour or the starch from the from the yuca. Yeah. And this is what the the community in the Amazon has with every food. Uh, usually they use that tukupi negro and mm -hmm. dip it inside. Dip so it. I can put a little bit on your yes. plate and Let's you can try, try it. I'm gonna try the pure version. How convenient. Wow, look at that color. That looks beautiful. So I'm gonna dip it. Mm -hmm. mm. You know what it tastes like? Like what? Vegemite. Yeah, actually, a lot of people it like compare Vegemite. it to Vegemite, yes. An Amazonian Vegemite. Yes, there you go. <laughs> Because it's, you know, an intense umami flavor. Yes, it's an umami it, bomb. It's an umami bomb. It's got, you know, kind of like soy, miso hints. Yes. It's Vegemite. There you go. Yes. The, I can't believe it. <laughs> wow. All seeds are going to love this. For All sure. All will love this. Mmm. It isn't as spicy as I thought it was going to be. No. The spice becomes uh, up to the person who cooks it, you know, mm -hmm. like you can add a little more chilies to it and it yeah. will, you ma macerate inside and have that spiciness to it, but it all depends how you like it. You right, know? so you can adjust it mm -hmm. to how hot you want it, but usually in the Amazon they eat it really spicy, right? Yes, they yeah. use, um, you have a few of the Amazonian chilies. Oh, wow. They're little and probably really, really yeah. hot. Yeah, they're pretty spicy. Very, very nice notes of fruit, but it's very spicy. It actually reminds me a lot of the Asian chilies, the yeah. like the bird eye chili because it's like a little fruity, f fruitful, mm -hmm. but then it has that kick at the end that. Yeah. Whew. Yeah. This so is this the is the paiche, the fish that we talked about. This yeah. is the rib. Oh, this is only one wow. rib. So you one can see rib. how big the fish is. Is. Look at that. That looks like a pork chop. It exactly. Looks like a pork chop. Exactly. And then you have the tukupi barbecue almost. It's oh, yes. like a kind of sauce. So I'm gonna drizzle this sauce a bit more. There you go. Look at that consistency, it's so thick. Wow, and I then traditionally they have the farofa, which is yep. the toasted uh, starch mm -hmm. that they cook here with a little bit of butter and different herbs and spices. So that looks, it looks like a little seed. It looks like, like, couscous. like couscous. It yeah. looks like couscous. And then you have the chonta, which is the heart of palm uh, that they have the center of it. And then they put it into like these strips that look almost like noodles. Yeah, so this is made out of the, the middle of the heart, the, the heart, heart palm. The center of the heart of the palm, of the heart of palm. It's like noodles. Exactly. Like vegetable noodles. And it's so like refreshing and it's, it's a great salad. Wow, that texture of that paiche, um, it's like, look, mm. it's like literally like a really tender and the, pork. the flavor is amazing. Let's try it. Mm. You cannot believe it's a fish. Whoa. Oh my God. It's like the most tender piece of like pork mixed with a bit of fish. It's amazing. Oh, but, but it still has texture. It still has bites. It's like firm. It, it's firm, but it's when you eat it, it's, it's not juicy chewy. and it's yeah, it's amazing. And that um, that tukupi negro using it in that sauce, it's a bit sweet and it's got that umami kick wow. and the smokiness because uh, mm -hmm. when they reduce it in the community, they use wood. Mm -hmm. So that smokiness gets in the sauce. I can taste it. Yeah, it's so smoky. Mmm. Mm. The flavor is delicious. I and the I can't. I want more. I want more. I Go for stop. it. Yeah. Look. And this is only one rib. Can you one imagine rib. like the whole Just one cage single of ribs? ribs? Let's try the chonta. I love the texture of chonta. So like silky. And then you have the nuttiness from the, Brazi the Brazilian chestnut or the Amazonian chestnut. It's so delicious and the textures, all the different textures. Mmm. Wow. It's just incredible. Yeah. This is a perfect way for little kids that don't like to eat fish to eat fish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's it's a different kind of flavor and taste and everything, but it's still, you know, like I mean I could eat this every day. Wow. 
has a lot of finesse in the in the flavor. It's like you say, you can serve this and people will tell you it's pork. Yeah. You know, yeah. I don't think they would even say it's a fish. No. I've learned so much, you know, about this incredible unknown pantry that's the Amazon exactly. jungle. You know, we have to try to be more local mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, look at the treasures that we find, you know? Yeah, definitely. You have to take a few of your Tukupi bottles to yes, back to Australia. I'm gonna take some of these. This is incredible. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. And we'll see you <laughs> another time. Please, whenever you're <laughs> back in Lima, let me know. Or will you come to Australia? I, I would love to go and <laughs> take some Tukupi to the Aussies. Yes, take it. The Aussies will, I tell you, the Aussies will love it. Wow. There you oh, go. Gracias. Ciao. Gracias a ti. Bye.